guys, I'm Shelby, this is Linus. Welcome to Chin Pals. Today we are going to be giving Linus's feet an Epsom salt soak. Now, a lot of chinchillas will get bumblefoot because of wire bottomed cages, wire shelving, wire ramps. And while Linus doesn't have any of that in his cage, likely his feet got dried out at some point, cracked, and he was sitting in his urine. Now, we do keep Linus' cage very clean. We clean the liners out every day, but this can still happen, and sometimes it is really, really hard to get rid of. I know. Let's see if we can see those feet. There we go. So here's his little feet. So in addition to the antibiotics and the silver sulfadiazine cream, we are also going to do this Epsom salt soak. Please remember that if you see anything wrong with your chinchilla's feet, consult your vet before doing anything. We always wanna make sure our chinchillas are seen by exotic vets that treat chinchillas. Oh my God. Are you pooping? Are you pooping right now? Chinchillas are very squirmy and chinchillas also can't get wet. So this means it's gonna be really hard to do this properly without getting your chinchilla wet because as you can see, they just wanna run around and squirm and be all over the place. And that does not lend itself well to an open container with water. So I have an idea on how to do this and we're gonna see if it works. I mean, this might not work. So the first thing we wanna do is get our mixture ready. And on the back, there should be directions for the soaking solution. So let's go ahead and follow that. Since we're not gonna be using a full bathtub for this, I'm just gonna use the small container to fill with warm water. And we're just gonna use about a quarter cup of Epsom salt. So now we're gonna take our half cup of Epsom salt and fill it with warm water. So I don't wanna to put too much in there because we only want the little bottoms of his feet to be covered with water, not too far up to his ankle so it doesn't touch his fur. And I actually think this might be a little bit too much. So I'm gonna pour a little bit back in and we can always save this for another time. Okay. So we have our water ready. Now I'm gonna cover it. So this is the part that I'm not super sure about. Uh, my idea is to cover the top with plastic wrap and just cut little slits in it so that his feet can poke through, but the rest of his fur won't get wet. So let's see how that looks. Let's try soaking his feet. No clue if this is gonna work, but I hope it does because I think this would be a really great way to do this. We will also be using this little piece of treat to help hold his attention. And I'm gonna open this up just a little bit more. There we go. All right. Treat reward. There. 
So ideally we'll stay in this position for a few minutes. super absorbent and you can see his fur is already looking much drier um, and you just kind of want to keep doing this for a little while. Job. He looks very dry and this just happened. So make sure you have a high absorbency, good paper towels when you're going to do this because it makes a big difference. And I have another idea of how to do this soak a little bit better. So we're going to try that and I'll show you what we do. So what I'm doing right now is just wrapping up this fleece on the top of it instead of the saran wrap. I think this is going to be a little bit better and I'm not gonna put the water in yet. So that's kind of the big thing here is I don't want the water to go in first. So if he pulls his little feet out like he was doing, it'll get the top wet. So first thing is putting him in here and then we're gonna put the water in. So I went ahead and just grabbed a measuring cup so we can heat up a little bit of this water and then we'll be able to pour it pretty easily. So I've got one here, one here for his little feet, and then back here I have a little spout that I'll be able to pour, hopefully, the salt solution in. And I also changed the rubber bands to underneath the lip so that they can't accidentally snap up and hit Linus because they just hit my hands. So I'm glad that I experienced that and not poor Linus. So if you're gonna do something like that, make sure that your rubber bands cannot hit your chinchilla. So here's the same treat that we were using yesterday. And now let's give it a try. Right. He's a little unsure. Oh, there we go, bud. All right. Let's make sure his little heels are in there, which they are. Let me give him a little bite of treat this up just a little bit so you guys can see and then we're going to pour the water in uh oh uh oh so it's okay that he's moving around um what we really want is just for him to sit like this for just a little while There he goes, and now he's done. <laughs> and that was good, so he's not nearly as wet as last time, and that's really important. His little body really isn't that wet, just a little bit. Um, so that, that worked pretty well, as I was hoping it might. watching we will keep you updated on Linus's feet and I'll show you some progress pics on Instagram if you're interested and if you're interested in supporting us check us out on Patreon we do all kinds of cool free merch and stuff uh, I think you really enjoy it plus some bloopers behind the scene footage contests all kinds of stuff so thank you so much for subscribing and watching and we'll see you next time